Hey there, welcome everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate someone climbing stairs. First thing that you'll want to do is you're going to pop over to Canvas. I'm going to need you to save this template. Okay, so you're going to do a right click, hit copy image. Then you're going to go over to Photo P. You're going to hit new project. Once you title this one, climbing stairs animation, hit create. And then I'm going to have you paste what we, what we just copied up there. So control V and you'll get this. Now to make life simple, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a stick man over the top of this little template, and then we're gonna feed it into this lower part of the template. So let me show you what I'm talking about. First thing that you'll wanna do is you wanna grab the ellipse shape tool. So if you look over here on the left side, go down here to where the rectangle is, do a right click, hit ellipse. Next thing, you need, next thing I need to do is I need to zoom in. So I'm gonna hit control plus plus, and let me tap H for hand. You can see the hand pops up there. And with the ellipse tool, I'm gonna then try to cover over the top of his head like that. This is gonna make it red. By the way, you can change the colors up here at the top where it says fill, uh, stroke, unless if you want an outline, you can click that. Once I've got the head in place, I'm gonna be using the brush tool to construct the limbs. And this is fairly straightforward. We are doing a stick man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap B for brush. You're gonna go up here to the top, those of you who aren't familiar with it, and then you're gonna change the characteristics. Okay, so I want the hardness to be at 100%, uh, the size of the stroke, let's go up to, uh, let's go up to 20, I don't know, 26. It's just whatever you feel is comfortable. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to outline this. I'm gonna start with the hand. Before I get started though, what I'll need to do is go over to the layers palette and I'm gonna hit new layer. So beside the garbage can here, hit new layer. Okay, and layer, it says layer two right there. I'm gonna start at the hand. I'm gonna hold that shift key to make the straight line. And I think his elbow is about there. I'm gonna bring it up to his shoulder. And then we've got the neck. And then I'm gonna bring a line down here for the axis of the body and the thigh, the kneecap to the heel, and then where the shoe is. Okay, so I'll start with the shoe on this one, go out up to the kneecap and that's pretty good for number one. Now, what we need to do is we need to combine the head with the body. The way that you do that is you hold the shift key, okay? And you're gonna select both of these layers so that they darken, so that you get something like that. And then we're gonna do merge layers. Now you can merge layers by doing Control E, or you can go up to layers up at the top here and hit merge layers. And you'll see that it combines them together. The next thing I need to do, because we're doing an animation, the prefix or the beginning of this layer label needs to go underscore a underscore. And then we're gonna call this one body one and we're good to go. Now we're moving on to the second one. I'm gonna change the color up uh, just so it's easier when we're talking about that. I grab that ellipse tool again. So over here, the tool console and make it about the size. Now, as you can see, it turned it red so maybe what I'll do is I'll go up to fill and I'm going to go solid color. And if I click on double click on the red here, and again, we'll try this again, <laughs> I'm gonna hit okay. And now we're working with an orange person. I need to slide this shape over a little by the arrow keys on my keyboard. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of micro, what's called micro nudging, I'll just move that over. And then I'm gonna grab the brush tool. So I tap B for brush. I need to do new layer first though. So over by the garbage can, hit new layer. And we'll see what we can come up with here. I'm only gonna do two of these. I've got the rest of this all mapped to the toe. And then we go over here from the toe to the heel. Got the kneecap there. All right, so we've got the second in the series. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to need to animate these. So because I labeled them over here in the right in the tool in the layers palette, I'm just going to begin to drag them down. And so uh, I've already dragged down the first three. I'm going to see where we are with number four. There we go. Okay, so and then I'm going to go up here to five. And I'm just assembling them into a sequence. Then I'll grab the purple guy. 
and then the cycle just starts off. And as you can see, that these are staggered, you know, just by a millimeter or two, just to differentiate. Um, but what I want to do, because we're going with stairs and stairs are uniform, I can copy up this entire section. Okay, so I hold down the shift key and I've selected everything in the layers palette and I'm going to duplicate this. So you're going to hit control J. Okay, that's the magic right there. It's control J. And what you've seen is, is that it just loaded up all of these characters one more time. Now, because they're all selected, keep them selected because it'll make your life easier. Yeah, okay, I can take them all at once and where the purple guy left off, I'm gonna stick, he's not on the ground, so I'm gonna need to start changing things up again. I'm gonna select all of the layers, so I hold shift, I'm gonna start at the top thing, hold the shift key, select the last one, and I'll move this entire unit down Down to about there. All right. And uh, I'm also going to finish it off with a sequence, maybe with the person just standing at the door, uh, but you can easily do that. The next stage, because all of the layers have been labeled underscore A underscore, uh, this is going to make my life easier when I go to animate it. So I go file, I'm going to go export as a GIF. Okay, so export as a GIF. Oh, there we go. Okay. Last step here is I'm gonna need for you to uh, crop this out. So it looks like it's working. You're gonna tap C for crop, or you can come over here to what's called the L7, which is one, two, three, five, five tools down. And you can then take and crop that down. And I want you to fill this question mark space with something surprising, something interesting. Um, what is behind the door? And that's the project for the day. Hey, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.